Our hope hangs upon you, my friend. Hello everyone, this is Wyatt Chang from the Diablo Immortal team. At the start of this year, we wrapped up our technical alpha and the team was energized and encouraged by the warm reception we received. We are now entering our next phase of development. We'll be introducing some of our end game content for testing while continuing to iterate and improve on existing systems. My crusade continues. To start, Alpha 2 introduces a new class, the Crusader, and we'll be raising the level cap from 45 to 55. Players will continue the main quest storyline through two zones, Mount Zavane, home of the monks, a thousand and one gods strike through me, and the frozen tundra where the scattered barbarian tribes reside. I am Blade and Fury incarnate. Players will also discover a new dungeon, Cavern of Echoes, where a powerful relic is guarded by a giant frozen terror who seeks to keep its power for their own. It seems your journey continues. The next alpha patch also introduces the Cycle of Strife, a social endgame system where players will fight as either the Immortals, who protect and defend Sanctuary, or as the Shadows, who fulfill a sacred duty to keep the Immortals from becoming power mad or complacent. Here's how the system works. All players start out as adventurers, questing for experience and loot. During their journey, they can choose to join the Shadows. Shadows can rise up and challenge the Immortals to become the new Defenders of Sanctuary. There are multiple modes within this system, and one of them is Kion's Ordeal, a 48-person raid exclusive to the Immortals, and it provides unique rewards. The Immortals also have their own special vault, where they stash away their hard-earned spoils and riches. The Shadows are constantly testing the Immortals, and one of the ways in which they do that is by raiding that vault. Feel my wrath! Shadows will attempt to steal the riches within, but they need to be ready to fight if the Immortals come to defend you it. You will bleed. You might be wondering, how do the Shadow factions overthrow the Immortals? Shadows can take part in simultaneous 8v8 battles versus the Immortals. And if the Shadows win these battles, the strongest among them will become the next Immortal. This is only a first glimpse at what will be available to those who join the Cycle of Strife. We're hoping this system will be exciting for players who love the thrill of team-based PvP. Let's talk about another endgame system we're calling the Heliquary. The Heliquary features players taking down dangerous bosses. This will not be easy and will require significant preparation. A new boss is unlocked every month for players to challenge, and if players are successful in defeating them, they will earn powerful boosts to their character. Players will also discover a litany of new legendary items, legendary gems, an additional paragon tree, two extra skills per class, new quests, and more bounties. We have so much planned for our next alpha phase, and we can't wait for more people to get their hands on Diablo Immortal. We want to thank everyone for their support. If you're not able to join us during this limited testing period, we'll be coming for you later. The team can't wait until you can all join us in Westmarch.